when we do that retreat. <coughs> in addition, the Board of Education will conduct a superintendent evaluation <coughs> in accordance with Nebraska statutes. That's typically once a year. The Board will set, in consultation with the superintendent, clear and measurable performance goals, including criteria to determine if the goals have been met. And the Board did work very hard with the School Board Association to choose a goal <coughs> that they felt did just that. <coughs> Students have accomplishments, they can be able to do that, they are able to do that as well. With the <coughs> to school improvement, we have a staff in service, uh, no school for students, PK-12, on January 22nd. Um, we are very excited to attend Walter Bond, the Rise Up To It presentation in Norfolk. I have to give kudos to the service unit on that. Uh, Bill Moenkel and his staff organize and facilitate that event so that schools don't have such a high dollar fee for attendance. It's very, very reasonable since we have so many schools collaborating. They will have 1,200 people in attendance at the Johnny Carson Theater. And he was a previous NBA player with a very inspiring midwinter motivational message. Uh, they will have breakout sessions. Again, uh, the service unit has worked really hard, both one and eight, with Norfolk Public Schools to develop some breakout sessions for our teachers after the presentation. Uh, we are also uh, very concerned about our curriculum work since that is due to advance ed this spring. Mr. Mechke and Mr. Loof will be working very hard with the service unit to complete those uh, reports, the narratives for those reports to make sure we are in compliance there. Our teachers will be working very hard that day also on C4L tests which are tests they develop free through the Department of Ed for their students to take to determine whether or not they are going to meet those NISA benchmarks. Um, on January 28th, we'll have a 1.30 dismissal. Grade 7, 12, we'll have student mentoring that day. Uh, I have a group, I'm not sure how my group was assigned, but I have all girls, all young ladies in my group. Uh, every teacher on staff has their own group that we're taking grade 7 to graduation. So they meet with us on those early dismissal days. Uh, we're hoping for a bonding, bonding experience. It's one of our advanced ed indicators um, that we have every student have some kind of significant connection with an adult in their educational environment. We also have our professional learning communities meeting that day, and that's to address the advanced ed indicator listed there, 3.5. Um, and we have a special learners group, an assessments and accountability group, a vision goals group, the overall group facilitated by Mr. Luth and myself is the CIP steering team. If you have not visited the NBA State of the Schools report yet, I would encourage you to um, navigate it when you have a minute here or there and write down, jot down any questions you might have with regards to the demographic, perceptual uh, assessments any kinds of that information that you see on there that you might have a question about, I'd be happy to answer for you. Strategic planning, um, that is on the agenda to choose a date. I've listed those dates there, but since it's on the agenda, we'll deal with that then. Um, there's just a review, preview of assessment topics um, that we're going to be dealing with. Budget finance, um, testing, school improvement, technology. Uh, we'll visit with students during lunch our facility strengths and weaknesses. Technology, uh, the one-to-one -one update, our technology team is preparing and will be meeting, I think, tomorrow, um, although I do not meet with that team. That is facilitated by Robert Krebel. They're going to prepare to order the teacher laptops. It was a teacher concern that we make sure they get the laptops and develop comfortability with those before we do student laptops. Uh, Windows 8 not 10, is the technology team's choice for an operating system, and it has some idiosyncrasies that we're not entirely comfortable with, so we will probably be using one of our two contractors <coughs> that we'll be making up because of snow uh, towards the end of the year to facilitate that training. Building grounds, transportation, that is on the agenda. NASB, um, there's conferences and forums there. I will try to keep that updated. I know that they send you information as well. Um, I think NCSA sends you things and possibly even NERPS. Uh, those types of conventions are all out there. And I will try to keep you updated with those. Uh, legislative and policy review, they're just kicking off 
So we do have uh, Senator Galen Hadley is the speaker, and Kate Sullivan is the chair of the <coughs> Education Committee, and we're very happy to have Kate in that position. Do you have any questions? Any questions for the superintendent? All right. Item C, board members. Uh, no reports. Okay. New business. <coughs> 14A, Discussion Action on Appointment of School District Attorney, Treasurer, and Auditor. And I'll go ahead and facilitate this discussion. This is typically just an annual formality. <coughs> However, um, our attorney has been Hardy and Schultz for many years. And Kelly Baker announced his retirement in May. Very soon after that, we received notification from Karen, Steve, and Bobby that they would no longer be with the Harding and Schultz firm, and those are the only four lawyers that have dealt with our school business. They have formed their own law firm now, devoted to school law, and it's called KSB Law. Since publication of this agenda and cover, cover letter, uh, Kelly Baker has decided not to retire, and he has decided to separate from Harding and Schultz and form Baker School Law. So that choice is not on there. Um, and of course, since it was not on there, it was not my recommendation either. Uh, the three lawyers that deal most with our school business, well, Karen probably deals with most of our school business regarding teacher issues, student expulsions, those types of things. She's facilitated some of those hearings that we've had. So of the four, Karen is probably most familiar with our school business. So even in light of Kelly Baker forming his own law firm, I <coughs> still recommend that our firm be KSB School Law. I think our treasurer and our auditor should remain the same as they have been for several years. The board is welcome to have Harding and Schultz. I don't know who would deal with our school business or both <coughs> and KSB or possibly Harding and Schultz, KSB and Kelly Baker. How are they, uh, on our attorneys, how are they paid? By the hour. By the hour. Mm -hmm. and, and how is the, the rates for the new firm? Comparable. How do they compare to what we paid last year? Probably just a little less, but not much. Lawyers typically, they're very experienced lawyers. So, so the, they're going to charge us less per hour than they did last year? The well, they're, they're a new firm, so they're but trying the, to build the firm their firm that we have hired, the existing firm we have Harding hired. and Schultz. Right. Was the firm we've had in the past. And how do their costs compare to, how do Harding and Schultz costs compare to what? Miss Linda? New KSB is, uh, well, Miss Linda left? I don't see her. Okay. Hour by hour, I don't know why. Yeah. But they charge us by the hour, right? Yes. They're not on our families. No. No. Well, I would be interested to see what the price difference is between, you know, what we paid last year and what we paid this year before. Can't hire by years, by hours. Like well, right, if they, if they charge you ten dollars an hour, right? I mean, I'm, I mean, they don't charge us ten dollars an hour, <laughs> but they charge us an hour fee, and we should know what that is, correct? Sometimes it's also dependent upon what they have to do, what kind of background information they need to locate, what resources they have to access, <coughs> mileage fees if they have to travel here. So then it sounds like we probably should have a little more information before we take action on this. I would agree with that. When does our current uh, agreement, at the end of the year, does it run out? Or when, when are we... Uh, now. Mm -hmm. It ended in December. And it's an, it's an annual formality, um, but yes, uh, we don't have to have a school district attorney, treasurer, or auditor appointed to conduct business with them. So it's not going to put the school in any kind of duress. I would like to information, I guess. I can find fees for you, yes. 
So KSB fees, Baker fees, and Harding and Schultz fees. Yeah. Well, who else? I mean, those are the. Those are the ones that I am familiar with, Dave. Um, I'm just, you know, as I think it's a good business practice. I'm just uncomfortable mm -hmm. hiring somebody if I don't know really know what I'm buying. I guess the point. I understand I'm, that. I guess from a school district perspective, it's nice to have someone that knows. Oh, I, I don't business. disagree. There's some value in, in somebody that knows your business right. and, and, and the relationship and, and knows some of the issues that we face. Right. No, no doubt that has some value. Because we do have some issues pending. So this is a, this is an annual agreement. That's how you're, you're telling. You're yeah, saying. It, yeah, and it doesn't mean that. Yeah, you couldn't seek other sources. It's not, but yeah, we've already had a audit, so that doesn't put us in any kind of duress. But I don't have comparability on that either. We just always had that auditor. He's very familiar with Miss Linda. Yeah. I just I'm uh, my my question from a better, from a good business standpoint is, you know, what did Harding and Schultz do that we would leave them? They didn't do anything. You see what I mean? We wouldn't have any lawyers there that were familiar with our business anymore. Right. And I don't know if we'd have any lawyers that but when we first hired them, we were didn't have any. experienced with school law. Right. But when we first hired them, we didn't have any lawyers that were there either. When we first hired them. Well, via conferences and things, mm -hmm. we know all the lawyers mm -hmm. that deal with school law. Mm -hmm. And the only other so law firm that I know is Perry Law Firm. Are you suggesting that Harding and Schultz? does not have any more school attorneys? I don't know of another school attorney that Harding and Schultz has other than those four. Well then let's let's find that out. Okay. You know, let's find that out. Find <coughs> out what the rates are. Or can, can I throw in any? Um, sure. As far as it, in the 15 years that I've been here, uh, Karen, possibly, who was an employee of Harding and Schultz, has been our go-to person, whether it be with Mr. Morgan, Mr. Randall, Mrs. Langenfelter, whether it be teacher-related, whether it be student-related, she, she was our go-to person, even if it was just to call and ask a question. And the reason they're leaving where they left is because <coughs> the guy that they worked for chose to retire and then changed his mind. But the, the name on the law firm is irrelevant in my mind. It's the person that we trust and work with. But I just want to throw that out there. Thank you, George. Um, I guess I would still suggest that you gather some information and put this on next month's agenda. Maybe we can talk about it a little bit at the retreat. Whatever you know, whatever information we've gathered for us. So you tabling just the lawyers or are you tabling the auditors also? Well, how about just the lawyer? I guess I should enter well we we're, we're not taking an action. Right? So unless, 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 we're, action. unless we're in a new And those, that's a yearly contract also, or a yearly agreement, then I would suggest that we probably proceed with the discussion on Treasury's law. Okay. Again, annual formality. And it's been Marla Davies until as long as I have been here. Um, I'm not sure when they were initially hired. And I don't know if their fee is comparable to others in that but they are very familiar, like I said, with the school business. It is who the school has always elected to go with. Um, and the same with Deb Ramsdicker. She has been our treasurer since I've been here. And I don't know who else we may appoint in that position. Well, how about if we enter, entertain a motion? Is anybody interested in making a motion to retain? Tomorrow, tomorrow, Davis. That would be, that would make a motion to retain our auditors tomorrow, Davy and Foley. Is it second? The second. We have a motion and a second. Any more discussion? And they're we played in the past. Uh, 
flat fee, or how do we pay our auditors? It's per audit. So if they're it's just doing audit. a general audit, then it's fine. If they have to do like an individual audit with like a federal fund, then it's a little bit more. And they do one audit a year? They do several school audits. No, but for us. Well, for us, yes. Mm -hmm. And when yeah. does that take place? Typically, as soon as we can after the budget cycle is complete. So yes. August 31st is the last day of our budget, and we try to get them in there as soon as we can. So typically, uh, first part of October, end of September, if we can, if we can get all of our financial data collected for them by then. How much did, did the auditor cost a year ago? I mean, is it a, a $2,000 expense or $10,000? Um, $5,500. $5,500, okay. <coughs> it's, it's almost a solid week. Um, this year, Linda really had everything organized quite well, and um, they were with us just a little over three days, so. Okay, we have a motion and a second to retain Marl Tully, or Davison. Tully, as our the district's auditing firm. Is there any other discussion? Would this be a real call vote also? Spending money, yes. I would suggest let's just do them separate for the moment. Yes. Schindler? Yes. Right? Yes. Frankie? Yes. Quincy? Yes. Ford? Yes. Okay. I'll, I'll move with that. Would you like to entertain a motion for the treasurer? I have a motion to keep Deb Grant's uh, there as our treasurer. I second that. We have a motion and a second. Is there any further discussion? <coughs> Hearing none, should we proceed with a vote? Higgins? Yes. Schindler? Yes. Right? Yes. Rankin? Yes. Quinzen? Yes. Clark? Yes. Okay, 14B. The appointment of the standing board to have the board standing committees. In your packet, there's a, a list of the board committees. Um, Brad took the opportunity to try and lay some out, put out some ideas there if anybody's interested or if they'd like changes or, you know, I'm, I'm not big on appointing people to those positions. If you could just take a moment and... I somehow made a mistake on that. I didn't put myself as chair twice. I, I just wanted to be a member. And I don't know how that got transferred. Yeah, I don't know how that got <laughs> So, I guess what I'd like to do is I'd like to start with the Schindler and is there any of these, because so there's three, right? Because the four, there's four, because the one is the chair. And strategic planning, yes, you're yes. right, Dave. Strategic right. planning is the chair 